stack holds 13 blocks of concrete, each nearly 3 inches thick and weighing 6 pounds. Of 13 blocks, the sledgehammer takes out 8. Sensors register 709 pounds of force. So I gotta beat 709 pounds. Yep. I think what you gotta beat is you gotta break all the blocks. I think you need to break the blocks, not the numbers. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> all right. We'll if he it. fails, Craig will become the victim of a law of physics. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Believe it or not, the stack does hit back. If I don't generate enough power to break through the entire stack, all that force that I've just generated that goes downwards, it bounces off the one slab that did not break, and it comes right back up, and I receive twice the amount that I gave. I expect to see total devastation in this stack, and I think uh, the numbers are going to surprise some people. is shocking. At the point of impact, over 1,000 G's of acceleration. <laughs> At the point of impact. Craig's strike landed at 21 miles an hour with more than 2,000 pounds of force. A thousand times the force of gravity and triple the force of the sledgehammer. This was the equivalent of a 35 mile an hour crash test into a brick wall without a safety belt. I mean, I'm, I'm so impressed I wrote the word wow. Do you think so? If this blow hits you, it could shatter bones, hemorrhaging, and even damage vital organs. The body truly can be a weapon. For impact, it certainly scores a knockout. Human long bones are like drinking straws, hollow in the middle, stronger on the long axis, and weaker when bent. They're 